good evening friends i hope you're all doing well i am also fine by the grace of allah so let's begin today we are going to create a p or install php 8 on uh centos 8 that's amazing both are eight so centos has a recent release on uh, centos 8 previously we used centos 6 then came centos 7 and now it is centos 8 so let's get started I'm into my EC2 dashboard and I don't have any instance running. So I need to create an instance. So let's click on launch instance. Then I'm going to search for uh, sent OS 8 actually. Let's see if we have something in AWS marketplace. Okay. So in AWS marketplace, we have lot of options here with CentOS 8. I will choose with uh, this one, CentOS 8, which is coming with uh, Amazon Web Services. So let's select this. The next part is uh, choosing the instance type. So I continue. This is a third party software tool. So I just need to give my permission, but it's free. Now let's choose T2 micro that's for free tier. IAM role. Um, it doesn't matter because we are not going to connect with uh, systems manager. The problem with CentOS 8 is that you cannot connect with systems manager. There is, uh, you need to uh, do that with uh, uh, putting. That's the drawback. So uh let's keep it as it is and then click on next 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 okay i already have a security group that's i just created previously so i will use it let's review and launch okay launch I already have this key pair, so let's keep this. Okay. Uh, this might take some time. So let me pause my video for a minute and then we come back when it's ready. So uh, my instance is ready now. I'm uh, going to connect to that instance because this is CentOS 8. So we don't have the option to use the connect. If you go here, it will, it will show you that it, it doesn't have the SSM agent installed. And that's because it's not part of the Amazon Linux. If you are using Amazon Linux or even Ubuntu, that is comes with default SSM installed. Okay. so. What we have to do is we can use SSH client. I just copy this part, full instruction. And I have downloaded the uh, PEM file in my local. I'm just going to open the PowerShell. And uh, here, oh, I need to remember one thing. You need to set the permissions properties to read only. That's the one little change that you need to make. Otherwise, it might give you an error. So, um, okay, one more thing. Let me check if I have opened my uh, IP addresses. So, security groups. Yeah, port 22 is open. So, I can now connect to that instance. Uh, I should copy this again, the command. This is the command. Paste it. Okay. So it is now connected. And uh, you will see that I'm now connected with user CentOS. Let me go to as root. Okay. 
So I am now logged into the system. And um, next thing is I have an article written here in my website. I will just copy the comments from there. So um, let's, if, if this is working fine, let's check. Okay, this is updating the packages from the repository, central repository, and uh, this is good. When you try to install anything in your <coughs> instance or server, always try to update the packages first. This is taking some time because a lot of things are upgrading. As you can see, there is almost 500 items are upgrading. So based on your situation, it might take around one or two minutes or sometimes maximum five minutes. So keep patience and uh, grab a cup of tea or coffee so you don't get bored.
Okay, it took more than expected time. I'm not sure. So I probably will remove this part from my blog. Uh, don't need to update that. Anyway, <clears throat> I did that. So that's done. Now let's, what we're going to do is, um, we need to add EPEL repository for the DNS. So let's copy this command. And that will run very smoothly, I hope. Then uh, we need to install this EPEL package. This is the Remy package, which has the PHP 8. So we are going to uh, install the Remy package list. That's done. Now we are going to run uh, DNF module list. And um, if I run this command, I will see a list of modules, which has PHP in it. So, that's, that's the list. So Remy 7.2, Remy 7.3, 7.4, and 8.0. Now I'm going to enable uh, 8.0. Okay, that's enabled. And uh, let me clear my screen to get a good view. Now I'm going to install the base packages that is required, which is uh, PHP, PHP CLI, PHP Common, PHP MySQL, ND, PHP MB Stream, and PHP XML. Okay, the PHP installation is done. Uh, let's check the PHP version. So I see PHP 8.0. Let's turn on the Apache. Clear the screen sudo systemctl enable httpd okay then i'm going to see if if i can browse the default page wow that's it this is a cool page of CentOS 8 with Apache HTTPD. Now I'm going to add a PHP info file. So let's go to cd bar dub, 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 HTML sudo vi index.php with PHP info. That's done. Let's refresh this page. It should show the default PHP version, which is 8.0.9. Then we have, uh, this is configurations, which extensions that we are used, like let's search MySQL, that's installed. Let's search for MB string. That's installed and let's search for zip or XML, simple XML that is, let's check if we have UXML, okay. So that being said, um, this is a very short tutorial for you who wants to set up PHP 8 on uh, CentOS 8. That's quite funny to pronounce PHP 8 and CentOS 8. So thank you. I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share with your friends, families, and others. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.